Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to convert a video file to another format using AVS Video Converter. This is a tiny little program that is free to download. I'll have a link in the description as well. And it's very simple to use. You would basically browse to pick up a file or you can pick one up from your computer if you happen to have a screen open at the same time and you can just drag and drop it right in there. Then you have the option of choosing to browse where you want the output directory so you can save it anywhere on your computer. And up here is the important part where you can easily choose what format you want. If you want MP4, .move for Apple, MKV, AVI, you can even do DVD format so it'll put it on an actual disc. And then they've got WMV and WebM. So you can do quite a few. There's other options in this drop down menu as well, but the most popular ones are up here. This is basically all you would have to do and hit convert. However, there's some other options if we want to look at advanced. This is where you can do a few different things that might come in very handy if you're doing a lot of files. You can merge the files together if you have more than one and you want to make them merged into one single file. You can also do batch mode where you can have multiple files that you want to convert but you want to keep them as their individual separate files in that new format. Then you would just go in advance and put batch mode and then just keep adding all the files that you want to do. Hit convert and walk away and let it run. You could split them by chapter and you can even limit the file size. You don't really need to worry too much about these other details below unless you're really into the uh, details of the video frame size, frame rate, and bit rate, and most people don't understand what would be the correct options to use and how you want to fine tune that. So if you're not sure, just leave it as it is. As you click on the different formats up above, you'll see that it does change the different options down there at the bottom. So it knows what's the default settings to use for those formats. Whether you're doing a single file or you go in advance to merge them or do a batch job, you would just select the options that you want here, hit convert, and it'll start going through it. You can click on the advanced tab to hide it or show it and it really doesn't matter. It's going to continue going through the conversion and when it's all done it'll pop up saying that the conversion is complete and you'll see your new file with the new format in that location that you specified here. And that's it for this tutorial and if you did find it helpful please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.